I think it was in 1908 that someone wrote an article about the medical uses of both as a, of, or treating colon inflammation, vaginal inflammation and such with the actual application of the gas, uh, or filling a bathtub, uh, since CO2 is heavier than air, if you seal the drains on a bathtub, you can just fill the bathtub with it <laughs> and get in. And uh, the person said an hour in the bathtub was like uh, a day at the beach. You could probably leave your clothes on as well, wow. couldn't you? Uh, yeah, you yeah. don't have to take your clothes <laughs> off because it instantly goes right through the clothing. And you can feel it as a, a warm sensation because it it uh, relaxes blood vessels in the skin. And uh, we uh, have used uh, huge plastic bags that come up to the shoulders, yeah. and uh, you, you fill the, the bag and then uh, get on a chair or something so that you can step in it without spilling the CO2 and, and pull it up uh, around your body without spilling it and then uh, uh, tighten it around the top. And uh, that will usually uh, stay put for uh, at least an hour, and your skin uh, gets pink and warm uh, from the r relaxing effect, and it, it has a systemic effect. It absorbs uh, very quickly into your uh, bloodstream and uh, affects your blood pressure, improves uh, pumping efficiency of your heart, reducing peripheral resistance in the arteries, 